People who say that Disney is the happiest place on earth should really take a trip to this tiny little island down in Southwest Florida. Everybody knows Sanibel Island has beautiful, not crowded beaches and really awesome seashells. But one thing that the island may not be known for is one of the best fisheries in the entire state of Florida. Tarpon, snook, redfish, any fish you could possibly want to catch is right here on this island waiting to be caught. Rule number one of fishing Sanibel. If you're public parking, pay for parking. Last year I got a $120 parking ticket. So this wonderful machine right here, make sure you feed it because if you don't, it's really expensive. So I'm launching today at Bowman's Beach again. As you guys can tell, right back here, sign, truck, kayaks already unloaded. So throwing all artificial today, I'm gonna do some darker paddle tails because this water's brown. And I'm gonna throw the top water plug and hopefully I can get on some good fish. I looked on Google Maps yesterday and it looks like there's some spots that I really, really wanna try that I didn't try last time. And that's the plan. Try new spots, cast until my arms fall off, catch fish or die trying. See you guys on the water. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna run you through the baits that we're using today. May switch out for some other ones, but these have kind of been my go-tos for this area down at Sanibel. So we have a Super Spook Junior, and that is in the speckled trout color. See, it's got some bruises, banged up already. It definitely puts in some work. And then I am using a paddle tail that my fiance picked that we did really good with yesterday. And it's purple with gold flakes. Take a look at that right there. This is gonna be the Thanos paddle tail. Unfortunately, Kim has it rigged upside down, but we're not gonna tell it. So I'm gonna get to casting around. I'm gonna work this mangrove line out. Not gonna take a whole lot of time because there's typically not a ton of fish right here. And I'm gonna fish the areas that I really, really wanted to. But I will at least take a couple casts towards the points, just in case, you never know what's over there. That was my first fish of the day right there. And he spit almost immediately. Come on, there's gotta be a fish back in here. Oh my, oh. Dude, did I? Did that just immediately break me? It just immediately cut me off. Wow. Well, there's a fish in there. Holy sh! I think it's a snook. I think it's a snook. I think it's a snook. Come on. Buddy, wear yourself out. Little snook right there, man. Ate that top water plug. Easy. Let's get him back in the water. This spooked another one. Come on, bud. There you go. Oh, that was a big hit. He's still on it. He missed it again. Holy crap, that was a really good hit. It's a little snook. Yeah, I doubt he'll lead again. I felt him on the last one. Head towards that, uh... You on? Is it? It's a really good rig. Nice, baby. All right, give him a little, give him a little juice. Don't keep it too tight.
Good job, baby. Damn, that, that's, that's a, a good, good That's a good fish, baby. That's a good fish I for sure. I caught right in the shadows. Get your hands in his mouth. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's huge. That was... oh. Alright guys, I got a Z-Man Paddler Z rigged up weedless here. And I'm gonna start throwing in this mangrove line where Kim keeps getting hit. Missed a good red right there. Mm -hmm. I think he might eat it again. God, dog. Yeah, he hit like a truck. Come on, big guy. Come on up here. Come on up here. Not bad at all. There he is. Nice little red fish right there. And he's got that Z-Man Paddler Z right in the corner of his mouth. The perfect size. There he goes. So we pulled up here. The current is whipping through here. So we'll have to be careful, but there's so much stuff eating in here. Look at all that. I mean, there's there's so much going on in here. Do you see this? Yeah, don't don't go in there. Don't go in there. There we go. What is it? Trout. So I gotta slam. Oh yeah, take it. Little slip. trout right there, get him back in there. Oh man, I did not miss the trout slime. Do you see it? Oh my god! There <laughs> you go. Here, I'm gonna bump you. There you go. Dang, <laughs> baby. Right in front of that dock. Yeah, hell yeah. There you go. Yeah, he's drumming up a storm. Bam, 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 bam. Dude, let go. Ow, my freaking fingernail. Woohoo! <laughs> stuff, baby. Moved down a little bit. I'm gonna check this area out. I've never fished here. This is one of the ones that I picked out this morning that I wanted to try. See a lot of mullet, a lot of things spooking off over here to the right. But I'm gonna start with the top water, and then work my way to throw in the paddle tail. That's something eating over there. Immediately, almost as soon as it hit the water. I have pretty loose drag. I'm probably gonna just leave it that way. Uh, come on. There he is. There he is. Another little snook right there. They're not giant in here, but you know, beats a lot of nothing. And if they're eating the top water plug, it makes me happy. Oyster bed right here. I just spooked something off of it too. I, oh damn it, I bet there were reds on there. I had no idea that was an oyster bed. Oh my. He hit it up and ate it like mid air right after. Of course, yeah, that 100% would be a jack. What a psycho. I cannot believe that. He hit it up. Or maybe there's just a bunch of them over there, actually. Okay. It's enough of this drag, buddy. You gotta come in so I can get you off just in case you got buddies over there that I'm gonna wanna catch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Not my favorite either. Go crazy and calm down. Get the pliers out. That was wild.
Yeah, buddy. You guys know what a Jack Reville looks like, right? Boom, Jack Reville. Get back in there. There could be more on that corner, so I'm gonna throw I released that Jack, and I looked at Kim, and she looked like it was about time for us to head out, so we went back, ate dinner with my family, and later that night, we drove out to Ding Darling, and we were fishing some of these outflows, and there was so many tarpon around, so I decided to grab the old fly rod and throw it around for a little nightcap. That's it for that video, you guys. Uh, really, really appreciate you guys for watching that. I didn't film an outro down there that I thought was fitting because of everything that happened. Um, and to be 100% honest with you guys, I went back and forth about posting the video at all. Obviously, I'm editing this video about a month late. Cat's kind of out of the bag. I've moved up to St. Augustine for a little while and I have some awesome videos and footage coming for you guys. But I just want to say that Sanibel has been one of my favorite places to visit since I moved down to Florida when I was a little kid and seeing it the way it is right now it's heartbreaking I mean to say the least it just it sucks there's no other way to put it it just sucks so I posted a donation link in the description and if you guys can contribute anything to that that would be absolutely amazing any anything helps for those people down there and, and the destruction and it's just absolutely unbelievable but as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, get out there, don't get skunked, and I will actually see you guys next week.